Just wanted to uh, show you guys the knife that cost me a ton of money. So, just to give you an idea, I was walking home from the beach. Um, I don't normally carry knives a ton. I kind of get in and out of them. I always have a knife on me uh, at, at work, but it's like a Chris Reeves Mandy. And every now and then I'll just pull out a nice knife and I'll carry it with me. And I, I have no idea why it happened, but I pulled out one of my... Uh, um, it was a Kirby Lambert, and I carry that one an awful lot, so I, I normally stick it in my pocket. And I was walking home and walking back from the pier, and I got hit with a wave. And needless to say, I got kind of soaked from the waist down, and I pulled out my Lambert, and it was all messed up, and sand and salt water and everything like that. So um, I opened it all up, and all the bearings fell out, and Kirby was a gentleman and actually sent me some, some new bearings that uh, ended up in the carpet. Uh, got it all back together. It's fantastic. Everything is great, but uh, it got me wondering about carrying a knife on the beach. So I went down to my local place and you can see the plaza cutlery there, and I um, ended up with a bunch of Medfords, which uh, was kind of besides the point. And I did a video on that, but uh, I asked him uh, what knife would be good to carry, uh, what blade would be good to carry that doesn't rust, and if I accidentally get hit by a wave, and I ended up going with a cheap, well, a cheaper knife. And this was like a hundred bucks or 110, 15 bucks or whatever it is. Uh, just in case uh, I wanted to put a knife in my pocket, got hit by a wave again, and uh, I didn't want it to get all messed up, um, or if you were to lose it or whatever. So this one will accompany me on the beach, and I just wanted to uh, show you guys a little bit about it. So uh, first off, it's a Benchmade. Um, I used to use quite a few Benchmades before I started collecting, and I apologize. It just came back from the beach. I took some photographs of it, so you'll see some water, and you'll see some... Uh, stuff that I'll insert in and uh, just kind of give you an idea of um, how it did. So uh, I buried it in the sand. I didn't bury the whole thing up to the blade. You see some sand there. But I buried it um, up to the blade and took some pictures, which I will insert now. And uh, it got pretty gritty and a wave hit it. I'll show you that picture now. And I got it home and I put a hose to it. It's still a little bit gritty, so um, you know, uh, I'm trying to dry it out the best I can. But if I see any rust forming or anything like that, I will open it all up and get it all cleaned up. But the whole idea behind this knife is to have a knife with you um, in case uh, you get attacked by a shark or whatever. I'm just kind of joking, but not really. I will update everybody on how this does, if it does poorly. If not, we just assume it did its job properly, which is what I assume when I buy things. And, um... Hopefully this knife will serve me pretty well. Again, um, I'm not going to use it a ton, but I always want to be prepared and have a pocket knife with me. And this is the one that goes to the beach with me now. All right, thanks. Bye.